Hello, I'm Eric Snodgrass, and thank you for watching today's Ag Forecast for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. What we're going to do first here is we're going to go back to December 25th and step through each day to take a look here at satellite estimated precipitation. And what we're going to be watching for is any regions that are really missed uh, by, by, by the monsoon in Brazil or by regular low pressure systems bringing fronts through parts of Argentina. So a couple of things to note. Watch southern Brazil growing areas from Mato Grosso do Sul down here through Rio Grande do Sul. Uh, and also keep an eye on eastern Brazil growing areas. So we can see here back on December 25th, the scattered precip that we'd expect with the monsoon. Moving forward, we see that again here. But notice we're still dry down here in southern Brazil. Also pockets of eastern Brazil and then in Argentina. As we then get to the 27th, the monsoon continues to stay focused more to the north. And this is a third day in a row of drier conditions farther to the south and east. As we get into the 28th and then into the 29th, remember this is when we had uh, the complex of thunderstorms that went right here through the heart of Argentina's main growing area. And remember when you're looking at these images, once you get out of the blues, we're now talking about over an inch of total accumulated precipitation. But as I continue, we, can, we see sporadic precipitation in southern Brazil. Argentina favored dry and eastern Brazil favored dry. You see that? It just keeps showing up that same pattern. Look at Argentina really missing out on this. This is December 31st. Here's January 1st, January 2nd, and now we can get up to January 3rd. So again, I, I saw some holes uh, in this, specifically in southern Brazil, eastern Brazil, and parts of Argentina. I can use the CPC rain gauge data to kind of give me an idea about that same 10-day time period. And we do overall see that uh, outside of some scattered storms uh, that were in parts of southern Brazil, the monsoon was underperforming in Mato Grosso. It was dry east and also dry right here through uh, parts of Argentina's main growing area. In fact, I should say drier than normal. We did see some precipitation but still drier than normal. And where we had that lack of precipitation, much of the last week was very warm compared to normal. So look at Eastern Mato Grosso uh, getting over to Tocantins, Minas Gerais, Bahia, this region, very warm compared to average, as was done here in uh, Buenos Aires, a few degrees above average. So we did see some heat stress along with the drier conditions. So let's take a look at model forecast performance here. Over on the right, this was the forecast I gave you that looked out at the January 4th through January 11th time period one week ago. So this was the two-week forecast a week ago. This is now the upcoming week, so January 4th through January 11th. A couple of things to note. The ensemble here, the Mato Grosso, was picking up on more normal precipitation patterns uh, throughout the state and to the south. It's now forecast to be drier, so it's been a drier trend in that area. And we're starting to pick up on the more sporadic nature of the storms in parts of eastern Brazil's growing area. In Argentina, uh, we had seen the drier forecast here, and it still continues to look that way as low pressure centers tend to form offshore, moving quickly away, leaving higher pressure into this area with fewer fronts passing through you know, Argentina's main growing area. So we continue to see another drier week showing up in the forecast. But looking out at the new week two, so this would then take us from the 11th to the 18th, I noticed a couple of things. Wet over here in Brazil's central and eastern growing area, and then Argentina showing up quite wet in the forecast uh, overall. Now, I begin to question this because we've seen the models maybe over predict in certain regions, and the question is, are they going to continue to do that? So let's provide some reasoning behind that logic. We do notice that the MJO is going to come over here into phase two and possibly swing around into phase three. Now, historically, phase two is correlated with wetter conditions. Look right in through this area in the upper right is where I'm drawing up here. Uh, in parts of Brazil's central and eastern growing areas, drier to the south. And phase three would favor wetter conditions south and then drier to the east. Do you see that? Although the correlations are not that strong. So we look at that and we want to compare it to something else. And we've been going over and over this. The Arctic oscillations throughout December, the Antarctic oscillation, excuse me, has moving, been moving toward positive territory and is expected to stay there. Now remember that tends to favor drier conditions. I know the colors are blue, but that's a negative correlation with precipitation rate tends to favor drier conditions over parts of Argentina. So what that makes me think if I just step back is we need to watch the trends in the model throughout this week to see if this region dries down in the forecast. But overall, we would expect Brazil's eastern growing areas to be wetter given the pattern that's going on with the MJO and also with what's happening with the um, uh, Antarctic Oscillation. 
From there, let's come to the bigger picture things. The, the La Nina still making it stronger push here, but we can see the, the fading away of the La Nina effect here in terms of ocean temperatures as you get over toward what we call Nina region one, two. That's this area right over into, into here. So keeping with that theme of using those analog years throughout the next uh, several weeks, let's just look at February for my analog years. We are expecting better chances. Now the blues here represent precipitation rate. So better chances of being wetter than normal right at a time period when we're trying to harvest a lot of this crop at the end of January and beginning of February. But drier risks, let me get that drawing off there. Drier risks, look at this, to the south over parts of Argentina. We can even see that looking out at the long range European weeklies, which take us to mid February. Wetter conditions forecast to the north, but they continue to keep drier conditions farther to the south. So, this will be, uh, you know, kind of the, the thing against which we will measure uh, the performance uh, of the model moving forward here and to see how precipitation totals do uh, compare to what has been forecast. Because this is a critical time period here where we're thinking about uh, getting one crop out and getting the next one in. And if it is wet, we could see potentially some delays uh, moving forward here. Again, this is the time period of January 15th through February 15th. So we'll watch this carefully. We'll keep reporting back to you. All right. Thanks for your attention. Have a great rest of your week. And we'll talk to you again soon.